everyone and fellow Sax.co YouTube fans. It's great to be back in front of the cameras again. I do apologize, it's been a bit of a delay. We've had a, quite a storming summer here at Sax.co.uk with all sorts of interesting changes going on. And as a result, I've not been able to put out the quantity or if any YouTube videos over a certain period of time. So it's great to be back doing these videos uh, for you again. And we've got some very exciting stuff coming up. Um, so. Today, I'm delighted to be surrounded by an entire new range of Yanagizawa baritones. As you might guess, they are the WO series. We've already had them for alto, tenor, and soprano, so um, it takes no genius to work out that they're going to produce them for baritone, and actually a little bit later on curved soprano as well. So I'm surrounded here by a sea of WO Yanagizawa baritones, all a little bit more expensive than the previous ones but absolutely superb. So I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail there. Um, so just a, a bit of an introduction to the WO series and what that's all about. So as you may recall from some of my videos with Alta and the Soprano and all the rest of it, what Yanagizawa have done is they have improved something that's already exquisite and incredible, if that's possible. But I think it's true to say that they have, and I'm gonna take you through all those technical little areas. What they've looked at is in the brass models, they have changed the actual sourcing of the brass. So that's the first thing that they've done. The bronze models aren't affected in that respect in terms of the sourcing of the material. It's the same material as before. Um, but they've also looked at, in the case of these baritones here, um, some actual changes of intonation in the way that they have drilled or repositioned tone holes on the instrument itself to alter intonation in a minute way just to, to bring it to a sort of even more of a, a level of excellence, if you like. And beyond that, they've made some mind little tweaks up and down the entire mechanism of the instrument. Um, so I'm just gonna pick up the baritone now and sort of take you through these bits and pieces one by one. So let's pick up this beast here. Off to my right here we have, which one is this? This is the WO20, so I've gone straight for the most expensive one. And my right arm's gonna fall off, my left arm is gonna fall off here as I take you through all these individual features, but I'll do my best. So from the top here, we have got, on the crook section, um, they've got this tiny little enhancer here, which just adds a little bit more tonal enhancement, and as they call it, tightening of the sound um, in terms of the upper register. So um, you might say sort of top octave from around, I would say octave D and upwards. Um, the sound has um, just tightened up a little bit just due to this, this plate here. It's a sort of common technique for manufacturers to use. Um, going down the baritone a little bit, the next most obvious thing that you're gonna see here is this bottom A key. Um, it was always beautiful to play on the previous models on the, the, the 900 series and all the rest of it. It, it feels like a very satisfying mechanism. Um, but what they've done is they've just changed the shape of this key so it just sort of feels like it, it fits the, the shape of the thumb a little bit more. So that, that's a beautiful mechanism down there. Um, they've also changed some key positionings. Um, this bottom 
C and E flat, they've, they've marginally changed the, the angle here. That's also in line with what we've had on the alto and the tenor. Um, they have changed, or sorry, added an aesthetical thing here. This is this brace section here on the previous model was just a sort of slightly more sort of simple design aesthetically. So they, they've just um, sort of beautified that a little bit, if you like. Um, on the back of the baritone, they've extended this key guard here to double the length that the previous one was about, if you can see my fingers here, it was about so long. And I think the idea is that a lot of baritone players in this sort of community bands and that kind of thing, and perhaps even if you're just um, playing in more of a solo fashion, would actually balance the baritone to your right like this, off to the right of your sort of right leg. And it's very common for these keys here on the right hand side to sort of get caught in your trousers. So it's more of a sort of precautionary thing just so that you don't get it caught up here and it just feels nice and smooth as it's sort of um, dangling around to this right hand area there. Um, okay, I hope I've not missed anything there. That, I think these are all the basic sort of technical changes, um, but I would probably point to the, the tone hole drilling and slight alteration in tone hole sizes as the most sort of significant change in terms of the actual tonality of the instrument, shall we say, because these other technical changes that I'm pointing out aren't really going to change the tone. And in some ways you might say, why do that considering it already sounded great? I mean, let's face it, the 900 series was a well-reputed um, baritone range and, and sounded absolutely fantastic. Um, so how do you make something fantastic even better um, the answer is you're only going to be dealing with tiny margins and, and that's what they are dealing with. Um, but nonetheless, it's, it's very exciting what they've done and it was an opportunity for them to attend to tiny little intonation things. So that's, that's the basics of the change in the instrument. I'm just going to point out a couple of other things here. Off to my right we have the case here. And this is entirely new, and again, in keeping with the WO range for alto and tenor, we've actually got, ironically, a backpack style case here. Uh, yes, we all laugh, the idea of having a backpack baritone case seems like a bizarre idea, but uh, nonetheless, for those strapping people out there, you can put it on your back, you just simply pull out these straps, attach them down here, and it's very comfortable. I've not actually tried it myself, but I just trust that it works. But more significantly, as you can see down here, we've got wheels, and these are beautifully fitted wheels into the case. This is more of a sort of um, essential for a baritone player. This is, a, this is quite a heavy case. It's not an absolute coffin of a case, but it certainly has an amount of weight and mass to it. By the time you add the baritone to it, it's quite a heavy thing, so the, the, the wheels do come in handy. And we've just got further storage here on the right here as well. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. So that's a very nice sort of tidy um, kind of finishing aspect to the whole package, if you like. Um, so beyond this, I've, I've mentioned all the technical stuff. For, for me, it comes down to how it feels as a baritone. If we just ignore everything I've just mentioned there and talk about perhaps the, the emotion that you feel the moment you play any of these baritones, and I'm talking the, the 2 model, the 10 and the 20, which are the ones that I'm reviewing today, by the way. How do you feel as a player when, when you just move up and down the instrument? And the answer to that question is you feel incredible. It's, it's an immense sound. First of all, I needed to get myself a nice mouthpiece that was a sort of good marriage with the saxophone. And about sort of three mouthpieces in, I was really pleased to land upon this uh, Jody Jazz uh, DV New York mouthpiece, which has a nice sort of marriage of punch, but depth at the same time. And for me, it just works really nicely on the baritone full stop, and particularly with these new lovely Yanagazawa WO baritones. And the feeling that you get uh, before you even know what you're gonna play, and you just play a bottom note on the baritone, it's just one of pure joy. It's such a responsive, exquisite sound, and it just kind of sets the template for, um, you know, really enjoying yourself on the baritone and just kind of closing your eyes and going off into your own world. So that's that's the sort of emotive side of of, of 
these baritones. I'm sure it was very similar before with the previous 900 series, but having just thoroughly got into these over the last few days, that's my kind of overriding feeling with them. So you can tell I'm enthusing about these instruments. They are absolutely fantastic, and I thoroughly recommend that you come down to one of our stores, try them out. Um, visit our website, we're going to have lots of further information on there, the sort of exact spec and what have you. And feel free to leave comments below um, and also phone us up and speak to us about these saxophones. Um, we'd be more than happy to talk to you about them. We think they're absolutely awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs>